Hello, I'm Norbert Gleicher, MD, and I'm the medical director and chief scientist here at the Center for Human Reproduction. My theme today are endocrine disrupting chemicals, and do they impact fertility? They impact fertility both on the female as well as on the male side. A recent book uh, published by an investigator at Columbia University here in New York City reported about rather dramatic declines of sperm counts in U.S. males. This is an observation that has been made all over the world. It is really remarkable how our sperm counts have diminished over the last few decades. And endocrine disruptors are generally considered the principal cause for these declines. They exist everywhere in our environment, from plastics to whatever we package our foods in to wherever we go and whatever we do. It is a real problem that was first uh, recognized probably about 20 years ago, but has in recent years attracted increasing attention uh, because it can do so much harm in so many different ways. Fertility is a part of the story, but endocrine disruptors have also been associated with cancer uh, causation uh, and other medical problems. On the female side, uh, like on the male side, uh, they can uh, intervene into a whole variety of endocrine processes. What does that mean in practical terms? It means in practical terms that we need to clean up our environment, that we need to stay away from plastics, and that we need to protect our offspring because endocrine disruptors can also affect the newborn baby. Thanks for listening.